happy that this is happening. For me, it's incredibly important to see my body of work surrounding me at this moment. And you know what's great too about the exhibit? It's 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 really a celebration yeah. of of an independent designer. The fact mm. that New York could still have independent designers that are not corporations yeah. and that are self-propelled and self-run. It takes a whole village of New York to support a designer you like Isabel. It. And we still do that, which is fantastic in the city. You know, culturally, it's still that rich and that interesting and that diverse that there are all these avenues and modes of expression. There's a, there's a mind of Isabel Toledo more than a look. I think right. Isabel's look is so uh, uh, free and open as it could go wherever yeah. the work leads it. But there's a mind to Isabel Toledo. There's a, there's a thought pattern that you can yeah. see that are all related one to the other. I mean, I always say that I, I really work as far as what my uh, emotions are all about. And I really try to express my emotions. So I don't know what my emotions look like. I mean, you look around at this hermaphrodite, there's a packing dress. I, I, you know. I, I think the concepts are what really grab us. And I think that a yeah. con concept is where Isabel starts. What's, what's this dress about? What's right. its story? What is it doing more than the look? That's almost what comes at the very end. I really get involved with the pattern, the make of, of something. What does it mean is really very important to me. It's not just a pretty dress for me. It really is. I'm trying to express a sculpture that now is going to be soft. It's going to be on a woman. A woman's going to react to it. How is that going to make her feel? Where do I put those seams so that she feels it? And all of a sudden, I'm actually in control of how she's standing. I mean, it's a whole psychological thing for me as well. I proposed it for that day, but was she going to wear it? She had all these all other designers, I believe, that, she, that were interested in dressing her for that day. Actually, so I was waiting. I think when it comes to that, women, I know very firsthand, yeah. women are like that. Isabel never decides what she's going to wear till that moment. He gets very know? mad, actually. I'm sure Michelle Obama's similar that way, where she decides oh, yeah. on the spur of the moment what's right for that day and that moment. I have no ideas. I'm an artist. All I do is dictate. I'm told what to do, and I put it down, and I, and I, I take notes. I, I literally draw her thinking so we can communicate with pattern makers and seamstresses. But I mean, I have different ways of working. Either uh, a shape that I see from Ruben re get, get me to think of a, of a pattern shape, and then I t talk to him about it, and then I say, how will that hang? Or then I try it on a mannequin. I, I have all different ways of working. I then Sometimes I do come up with things in, in the bedroom, <laughs> in, in bed. And unfortunately, I don't have a piece of paper next to me, so I wake up in the morning and tell him about it. And he always says, why don't you just write it down, write it down. But it's almost better. By then, it's been yes. twisted in dreams, and it comes out even more poetic than, than it was meant to yeah. be, which is good. 